happy to be here in Madrid. Nice capital. Uh, we have coming from Paris. Even if uh, yesterday night it was not a good weather, but uh, we are really <laughs> nice to be here in today. So um, today we are uh, we will speak about uh, the marketplace model. Everybody knows the marketplace model, right? Here in marketplace submit, but probably more in uh, B two C than in B two B. Okay, so uh, we are really focusing on B two B because you see it's uh, our expertise now since. Um, around nine years that we are exist um, and we are a, a French company called Iceberg. I will, um, you can put this one. So who I am in a few words, I'm uh, Thierry, Thierry Adam. Um, I'm the VP sales and marketing for Iceberg in France and um, Europe because we are enlarging our focus uh, in a different country. Uh, and so good. Okay, uh, in Iceberg, in few words, it's important that you understand who, who we are. So, um, we are the pioneer of our uh, marketplace model since uh, almost 10 years now. Uh, we were created in 2014 and we uh, help companies, uh, large and uh, less large no, company, to uh, really um, creating their own marketplace uh, to drive their business in different area, uh, and we will see this uh, just after. And uh, what is really our um, specificity in the market, because as you may know, there is different company that are doing the same. Uh, we are based on the API engine, very um, specific and uh, able really to enlarge flexible model um, and um, to, for different use cases. So uh, we have a, a specific DNA in Iceberg in uh, three worlds. The first of all, it's a uh, limited growth. That means that uh, we are a really scalable solution um, and, and really robust. So uh, we have the experience to uh, uh, onboard a large catalog with many SKUs, uh, with many transactions. So that's uh, a part of our, our experience and our notoriety in Europe. Uh, the first, the other thing is the unlimited business case. That's why we're thinking very extendable and flexible platform. That means that uh, if you have some specificities in your business, uh, we are really able to adapt the solution to be able to personalize uh, are the function that you need to uh, um, reach your target. And the last one is the collaboration. Okay, everybody knows we have the best partnership and so on, blah, blah, blah. It's not the meaning of the sentence. The meaning of the sentence is more to see that uh, we have two main expertise in this company. The first one is a software editor because we are publishing a software called Iceberg, which is a, a platform with a back offices for vendors and back office for the operator of the marketplace with different functionality inside the PIM, of course, to build a catalog of product or services, uh, an order management system, of course, to uh, for the transaction part. Uh, but the collaboration means that uh, we have expertise around the integration as well, because uh, the, the team of icebergs are coming from two companies. The first one was the software editor, Iceberg, and the second one was a, a company acquired before uh, with the integration part. So we have the capacity to help of, uh, our uh, um integrator in the market to, to really uh, uh, find a way to uh, deliver uh, the project with success. Uh, and so uh, we have a marketplace expert. Uh, we have more than 15 marketplaces running uh, at this time. 60% um, of the marketplaces that we're running are in the B2B and 40% in the B2C um, area. Good. So one platform, multiple digital strategy. Here, the slide is very interesting because um, 
We have customer of the two players proud, so they don't know what is a physical store. Okay, they were uh, born in the digital, like uh, VP, for instance. Okay, uh, I think that everybody knows VP. It's an international company. You can find uh, clothes, you can find uh, uh, cosmetics, you can find what do you want in this uh, marketplace. So they are uh, running uh, their business with Iceberg. Uh, we have Privalia, it's in Spain and in Italy. Uh, okay, and uh, it's uh, the second brand of uh, VP. Okay. Uh, that's uh, very interesting to know, and you can access to this marketplace because it's a B two C one, so uh, it's open to everyone. Okay, uh, we have access uh, in the fashion world. Okay, coming from UK because uh, uh, and and there is different uh, way, and we have physical retailers as well uh, in the second uh, part of uh, this uh, chart. Uh, you can see uh, eBay. Nobody knows eBay, of course, because it's uh, the Sephora. But in Poland, uh, if you go, don't go to Poland, can no deal with eBay. There are uh, more than 200 physical stores. Okay, you can find cosmetic and everything that you can find in Sephora as well. Okay, uh, and uh, and they, they decided uh, to digitalize and to uh, manage a non-channel uh, channel for the business, uh, and so they decided to choose. Uh, Iceberg to enlarge their catalogs and to be able to track new uh, customers from the digital part of uh, their business. Okay, so we are running with them. Uh, and if we go in the second part of the chart, um, starting with world sales, all the reference that you see here uh, outside the logo, uh, it's a B2B marketplace. And here it's really a different world. A different world because it's a different problematic uh, that we are uh, running in this. Uh, if you take Telenco, for instance, that we are uh, running uh, a show uh, this morning, I don't know if you, you were in it. Telenco, it's a customer that is a manufacturer and a distributor of a telecommunication product. Could be a fiber. Uh, film uh, to, uh, of course, deploy uh, uh, the net, the Wi-Fi network in the apartment and then the flat and the building and everything. So they are manufacturing their own product and they distribute the product. And who's the customer in the other way? It's also the telecommunication operator. Uh, say Orange, for instance, the famous one in France, Bouygues Telecom, SFR, and so on. I think that uh, here in Spain you have the uh, the famous brand uh, as well. Uh, and so I decided to enlarge a catalog because when you manufacture something, you cannot have all the products that you need it in the market. And so you need to partnership with all the vendors to be able to become the really the one-stop shop in the B2B for that. Okay, so they are doing it uh, with Iceberg, with uh, the back office of Iceberg and a front office that we build in custom because uh, most of the time it's very complicated to find in the market the, um, the right CMS, standard CMS to do it. Okay, because the... the, the the parkour is not the same. Uh, you have to, to, to manage different uh, specificity of the marketplace B2B, and we will see that uh, just after. Um, if you take an, another example here, of course, Arcelor in the, in the steel, okay? Uh, so uh, they have, of course, a different uh, uh, product that they are manufacturing for uh, uh, the automotive market or the aerospace market as well. And um, after that, um, they decided to uh, to run a marketplace. Why? Because uh, some of the customer were thinking, "Hey, I need aluminium," and Arcelor was not producing any aluminium. But we have to serve a request for our customer. So that's why they decided to open the e-commerce B2B that we have built before, okay, to other vendors, and they choose marketplace Iceberg to do it. And now they are providing aluminium product with a wide range of product to serve the needs. Okay. I think that uh, this is an example that uh, we can uh, pick one hour of each example, but it's not the way of uh, um, the, the message that I want to, to spend to you to, to, to today. So 
I can, can switch to the to other slide. Just few market trends. Uh, I think it's important to understand that uh, the business of marketplace is growing very, very fast. We know that it was growing very fast in the B2C since 10 years, but now we are seeing that it's growing very fast in uh, B2B as well. Um, if you see the marketplace model on the B2C side for the moment in the world, 10% was uh, was done before in 2008, and we, we reached the 67% of uh, digital commerce um, last year. Uh, and if we see just in France what he is doing is that uh, the most visited French e-commerce website are still uh, our uh, marketplace at, at this moment. So it's very important to, to say that I, I'm probably sure that uh, in Spain it will be the case in, in uh, in, in few in few years, um, but if you see in the other side the B two B e commerce small market, uh, Frost and Sullivan said that uh, he estimated this market in last year around uh, seven thousand billion dollars overall in the world, of course, and uh, Gartner said that seventy percent of the future marketplace will be in B two B. So we we see this the, 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 the same movement that was done previously in the B two C the time last year and we see the same movement in the B two B now today. It's very important to be present, to be here and here in Iceberg we have uh, already the experience to do it for the B2B market. So what is really a, a B2B marketplace, in few words? Uh, when you have a B2B and when you want to create a B2B marketplace, of course, um, you have a precedent experience on offline. You are doing business in offline, you are, you are just not starting your business with digital. Probably you have an experience on offline business and so you want to reproduce it in digital way. And that's why you have to take into account different um, issues, different challenges that you will uh, encounter in your journey. Uh, the first one is uh, to manage specific pricing. Of course, because you are dealing with existing customers. The existing customers, you were dealing with specific price. So you, you will not put in your marketplace the public price for your customers. You have to specifically dedicate a space for them with their specific price that they have. Okay? And now you can, you can do it uh, with, uh, with Iceberg, of course. Uh, you, have, uh, you, know, you don't sell one product by one product. You, you will sell quantity of product, okay? So there is a degressivity to imagine, okay, of pricing when you uh, order uh, uh, 10 tons or, uh, of product, of course the, the price is not the same. So you have to deal with that. Um, and so you have to deal with existing contract. And the problem that you have uh, as well is uh, the sales unit. Probably you, are, uh, um, you need um, to uh, define different sales unit like uh, weight, like uh, length, uh, and so you need, of course, to uh, imagine a model, of course, dedicated to the unit you are, you are uh, uh, selling your product. Okay, so you have to personalize everything in your marketplace to uh, to map what do you know in the offline and to map it in the digital way, okay? Uh, negotiation phases, for instance. Uh, some customer uh, will, uh, will need uh, a quotation, for instance, before dealing with you, okay? So probably you will need to embed a quotation module to be able to do it as well, okay? Um, and so it is very important. Uh, so you will... Um, uh, have the, the capacity to imagine an interaction between sellers and buyers inside the marketplace. And for that, you need uh, some chat bot to uh, uh, secure um, 
mail, mailbox and so on to, to imagine this interaction. It's very important to do it. Okay, uh, the billing phases is very important as well uh, because uh, I can deliver, for instance, I can order for one tons of product, but I say to my uh, sellers, okay, uh, in two minutes, okay, no problem, okay, no problem, uh, and so I will need to uh, order uh, one ton of product, but I don't want that you deliver one ton in one uh, shipping. I just want uh, 500 gr kilos. Uh, uh, and, and after, in one month, you can deliver the rest because I have no place in my warehouse to stock one ton, for instance. How you can deal with that in a digital way? You can deal in your offline with, with no any problem, but in a digital way, you have to fraction your bill, okay? And so it's very important to manage this inside the model. And uh, last, points, last point, for, sorry, is the logistic part. If you deal with uh, 500 and not one ton, so you will uh, have two logistics to manage for one order. Okay, it's important to, to deal with that as well. I think that uh, uh, we can finish with the uh, last slide. It was uh, gracias, thank you, because it was only 10 minutes um, we had in this, uh, in this session. So it was short, but of course, we are uh, um, a stand here. And if you want to uh, pursue the, the, the conversation, uh, we are at your disposal for that. Thank you.